Hi, it's Jenny from Buggy Baby, and today we're taking a look at the Upper Baby Ridge. The Ridge is Upper Baby's first ever freewheeler, and it's specially designed for off-road and for running. So what we're going to do today is get this out of the box, we're going to assemble it, and then we can have a look at all of the features. We retail this at just under £820, and the colour we're having a look at it in is Reggie, which we can see here on the box, and it is available in other colours as well. So let's get this open. It's obviously a very large buggy. You can tell that from the size of this box. Well, here we are. So, as we would expect from Upper Baby, and especially what we would expect from the price of this product, it's packaged really nicely. So, in here is going to be our instruction manual. And here we have the product. So, let's get this out. It's going to be something in that box. We'll have a look at that in a bit. That looks like a rain cover. There's a cup holder. And here's the frame of the push chair. Here we've got the wheels. Okay, so they're obviously very large wheels, as we said, because this is for running and for off-road. And I believe the back ones are about 40 centimeters and then the front one is about 30 centimeters. So unusually for more expensive running push chairs, which are normally filled with air, these ones are foam filled. So what that means is that you can't get a puncture with these, they can't go flat. So that's really useful and a point to bear in mind when you're choosing what running push chair you'd like. So let's get the other ones out. This is going to be the other rear one. And I'm going to get them all out of the packaging and then we will pop them onto the push chair. So I've got the free wheels laid out here. So this is the front swivel wheel. And by the look of the instructions, we're just going to be able to pop the rear wheels on. Before we do that, one of the interesting things about this is it's got a handbrake system. And this is the part that uh, makes that work. So when we get the push chair up, you'll be able to see that on the handlebar there's a handbrake which you can use for if you're out jogging with it just to give you full control of the push chair if you're going down slopes and it's a really useful piece of kit and actually if you ride you'll probably be really familiar with something like this because this is how a lot of um, mountain bikes work so let's get these wheels on let's see if they do click in as easy as I'm hoping there we go, that's one on. And that's the other one on. Okay, now we'll get the front wheel on. To pop the front wheel on, we're gonna have to open up the frame a little bit so that we can actually get that in. And here is the part that we're gonna use to open up the frame. So this is the part that you're gonna use to fold the push chair as well. So you push this little gray button in and you twist it. And that's gonna open up the frame for us enough that we can now put the front wheel on. So here we go. And again, this should just pop into place. There we are. Okay, let's get this up. And there you have it. Now, you can see it's a very large push chair, which a lot of the running push chairs are, but something to bear in mind if you are a little bit shorter, that this is gonna be very high up for you to push. The handle does adjust, so we can see here, you can move the handle up if you're taller, but you can't move it any further down. So for me, I am quite short, so I would have to think a little bit carefully about whether this is going to be comfortable for me to push. What I can tell you is just on first use of it, it's really easy to manoeuvre. 
The pushchair weighs just over 13k, so it because it is large, you would expect it to be heavy. Again, just something else to bear in mind is the size of it once it's folded down as to whether it's going to fit into your uh, car boot or not. And now I'm going to have a look around the push chair so we can have a look at the fabrics and all of the different things that it does. And we're going to start off with the front swivel wheel. So here is how you lock the wheel. To do that, all you would do is press it. And when it hasn't got the green light showing, it means that the wheel is locked. And then you press it down, green light shows, that means we've got it unlocked and ready to swivel. And one of the things you can do with this is it's got a little tracking device on here. You can see here the little silver um, piece that you would screw in and screw out. And that will keep your wheel straight. So if you are using this to run with, Obviously, when you're running, you don't want it slanting off to either side. So this is a really great feature just to make sure that it will be a lot easier for you to run in a straight line. And the locking of the front wheel is very easy. And it also means you'd be able to lock it in place with the wheel behind like that, just so it's taken up slightly less room. Okay. Now... We've got a recline feature on here. So let's have a look and see how that works. So at the back of the push chair, I can see that I've got this strap here, which we would use to recline the seat. And it looks like we're just gonna use this little button, push it in and pull it down on the strap. And then the seat can go into any position you want, which is the great thing about one of these straps for the recline. And then to push it back up, you would just push that button back in and move the strap up. So if we put it back down into lie flat, this is as far as it goes. And really important point to note, it is only suitable from six months upwards. If you need to use it from birth, you would have to purchase the compatible carry cot or you could purchase a car seat to put on there and you will need the adapters to do that as well. So that is a, a really important note that it can only be used from six months. But you can see a really roomy seat. Now it would take your child up to 22K and you can see in here, you've got absolutely loads of room for them as they grow. Well, have a look at the straps now. So these do work in a different way from how you would normally expect to find straps on the push chair. Um, on most push chairs, what you'll find is that there's different heights that you can thread the straps through so that you can um, create different heights depending on the size of your child. This doesn't have that. What it has instead is these bits here that you can move up and down so that you create the same effect but without having to re-thread all the straps. So to do that, if you had a larger child on, on there, you'd keep these little clasp bits at the very top. If you were putting your smaller child in there, so you'd need to bring the straps down, so obviously they're sitting in the right place over their shoulders, you would move these down like that. You see? And then that keeps that securely in place. And then you can obviously adjust the rest of the straps as you would do normally, so you can loosen them and you can tighten them. But for the height adjustment, you would just move these clasps up and down. So that's it down. And then to move them back up, I'm going to need to get a bit underneath. And then you move them back up. So in comparison to other push chairs, I like that feature because I find it a nuisance having to thread the straps through, especially when you've got to get it through quite a lot of material. So that's a really nice feature there. We'll have a look at the clasp. So here we've got the buckle. You can see there, it's all threaded through. So this is going to create a little bit of padding for your child when you strap them in. And you would just push it in. Nice secure click so that you know your baby's nice and snug in there. That's really easy to use. And I've just noticed here that you've got some little side pockets 
which I'm sure your toddler will love to put their um, bottle in, to put their snacks in. That's a nice feature. I can imagine that if you don't look after it, it will get a little bit filthy of all the children's snacks, but it is a really nice feature to have. Now, the material is very robust. But there's absolutely loads of padding on there. It's gonna be really comfortable for your child. You may wanna pop a soft liner on there if you choose to, but there's no need to. There's absolutely loads of padding on there. So they'll be nice and comfortable. And the good thing as well is when you've got them lying flat, so when they're sleeping, all of this side material here is just gonna cocoon them in, just so they'll feel a little bit nicer when they're napping. Well, have a look at the hood now. So this is UPV 50 plus, as you would expect on a product of this price. And I believe that the hood is extendable. So we should be able to find zip somewhere around here. There we go. Lovely, look at that. Really, really good size hood. Great to keep the sun out of your child's eyes, especially if you're using it for running and also great for napping, just gives them a bit more coverage. And we should have on here as well, a little peekaboo space here with some mesh just to let the air circulate. And in here, I believe this is for you to put your phone in and there's a little bit there that you can thread your earphones through and just keep your phone nice and safe there. That's a really nice feature. Again, especially good if you're using it for running so you can be listening to your music and your phone will be nice and safe. Next up, let's have a look at the basket. So I'm just gonna move this seat up. Okay, a very unusual basket in that it's completely covered, which is perfect so that you can't lose anything. We've got some zips on there. That's a really good size basket. It's got nice high sides. You've got an extra feature here with a little extra pocket. So that'll be useful for your keys or any other little essentials that you don't want to get lost amongst the rest of the stuff in your basket. We have another little pocket there as well. Anything else? I can see that that would remove the basket for you there. So you've got Velcro there to take the basket off. And great that you can just zip everything away. Again, because it is a running push chair, it is nice to know that you've got everything safe and secure in there when you're running. Here are our brakes. So green, let's try this out. Red to lock it. Green to unlock it, really easy goes down really easy okay and then on the handle is our handbrake so I haven't got much room to push it here to show you but it completely stops the push chair by using that brake on the handle so if you are running with it and you just need a little bit more control over the push chair the speed it's going at maybe you're going downhill you just pull slightly on that and that would give you a load of control over the speed that the bug is going at. A really useful feature. Okay, we've got a nice footrest here. And now what we're gonna do is have a look and see how we fold this so that you can see the size of it once we've got it in the folded position. So for folding, if we just lift this flap up here. Now, just so you know, there's a little magnet there which holds this part of the footrest down. So it's not gonna be flapping around while you're running or anything like that, but you would just lift it up and this is the folding mechanism. So we had a look at that quickly at the start of the video. And all you would do is press, just turn this around, press on this gray long button here, twist it and the buggy collapses into position. And as you can see, you can have it folded standing which is really useful for storage and also means that the materials won't get dirty as well so we can see here the fold size i'm going to put it flat so you've got an idea of what it might look like in your car i would say this would fit into most car boots you may have problems with a slightly smaller boot in that you can probably 
just get in the push chair and nothing else. But you can get the wheels on and off really easily. I'm going to see if I can demonstrate that for you because you just press this grey part in and the wheels come off. So when you are putting this into a car, you could just remove these wheels, which will help with the storage space. Now I'll pop that back on. They don't recommend that you remove the wheels a lot. Um, so really only for when you just need that extra bit of space. Because if you remove the wheels, you're obviously leaving all of these elements here for the brake um, open to perhaps any damage. So you just take the wheels off once the pushchair is stationary and just for when you're transporting it around. Right, so we're going to bring the buggy back up now. You've seen how easy it is to actually fold it down. And we're going to use this same grey button and twist it the other way. And that's going to bring the push chair back up. So everything with the fold is just done with this area here. It's as simple as pushing it in, twisting it, it collapses down, pushing it back in, twisting it, and you can bring the whole push chair back up. It's really easy to use. So other than the size of the fold, the actual fold itself is so simple. And as I said, really, you should be able to get this into most car boots. You might want to check your car boot if you've got a really small car, but I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue where you can remove the wheels and that will help you with space. I'm going to have a little push round now. And I really wish I could express better in words at how easy this is to manoeuvre. It is so smooth and even for such a large push chair, so easy to move as well. So I can't imagine you're going to have any issues at all with manoeuvring this around and running with it. Included with it, you get a cup holder, which is this here. Always useful, everyone loves a cup holder. And you also get a rain cover as well. So you've got everything you need to get started other than if you choose to use it from birth, which in that case you will need to purchase yourself the adapters and the compatible carry cot or car seat. So I would say in summary, this is a really, really good push chair. And if you are going to be using it for off-road and for running, it would just be ideal. I know that some people would like a freewheeler regardless of whether they're going to use it for off-road just because it's some people's preference but this is designed for off-road use and for running and we know that from the size of these wheels and the detail that it goes into with the handbrake system as well. It's made from some lovely materials very very padded it's got lots of extra little bits that are going to be really useful to you day to day if you're using the push chair such as the great basket at the bottom and also the easy way that you lock the wheel and that you can use the tracker to keep your wheel straight as well the materials on the hood are lovely and soft really nice looking very very smart um, the hood is extendable which is also a really nice feature so all in all Upper Baby have done very well with their first freewheeler and as I said this does retail at just under £820 um, so it is a more expensive push chair but if you do use your push chair for running and for outdoor use it would be well worth the purchase. If you need any more information at all, you can go on to buggybaby.co.uk and I hope that this review has given you a really good idea of whether this pushchair is suitable for you or not.